Action! Action! Load! Load! Side 400! Side 400! Take that in front! Shut fast! Fire! Unload! Unload! Up! This is the MG3 machine gun. One of the most effective weapons of the infantry unit. The MG3 is a German general purpose machine gun that drives its origin and model from the World War II Universal Purpose Machine Gun, MG42. It was designed in the year 1959 and was produced in the year 1960 by Wynne Later, it was introduced to the Ghana Armed Forces in the year 1975. Currently, it is being produced in Turkey and Pakistan. The MG3 is fully automatic, air-cooled, belt-fed, and recoil operated. It can fire, sustain, and burst fire. And can be adapted by any of the arms of service, that is the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force for combating points and area targets. When I say combating points, it can be used to fire at enemy observation posts and gun points. And when I say area targets, it can be used as an anti-aircraft machine gun to bring down low flying or sealed aircraft. This gun can be mounted on the bipod or on the tripod. When it's mounted on the bipod, it is used as a light machine gun. When it's mounted on the tripod, it is used as a heavy machine, machine gun. That is, can be used to fire at fortified concrete defenses, hard hitting targets, and as an anti aircraft machine gun. The gun can also be mounted on armored vehicles, tanks, aircraft, and boots. It can be stripped completely for cleaning purposes. On the battlefield, it is manned by two. That is the number one and the number two. The number one carries and fires the gun, while the number two helps the number one in carrying the GM box, loading the gun, and serves as a replacement in case the number one is shot. The gun has a five link feed belt, which is housed in this GM box. It has a muzzle velocity of 820 meters per second. That's the distance, the speed, and the time the bullet travels when the gun is fired. It has a maximum range of 4,000 meters and an effective range of 800 meters. So, the rest of the technical data is as space taken. So, at this point, I and my number two will demonstrate to you how the gun is used on the battlefield. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Sir, before the demonstration, it is against safety to stand in front of the gun. While please that we move to the size of the gun. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Action! Action! Load! Load! Side 400! Side 400! Take that in front! Shut fast! Fire! Unload! Unload! Up! I'm done, sir. Well done. Yes, sir. These weapons are simple in construction and convenient to handle. They are also light in weight and easy to carry because of their carrying handle. They are dust proof because of their dust spot covers and their mechanism functions reliably. These weapons rounds are stored in these metallic boxes. The bigger one houses 200 rounds and the smaller one 100 rounds and can be fixed to their weapon. So they have an adjustable iron sight, which ranges from 100 meters to 1,500 meters. In spite of their similarities in construction, there are different
differences between the M80 and the M84 general purpose machine gun. One, being its origin and the manufacturer. The M80 was designed in 1980 and manufactured in 1983 by Noriko Group in China. While the M84 was manufactured by the Stava Arms in the year 1984 in Yugoslavia, present day Serbia. Also, the length of the gun differs. The length of the M80 is 1192 mm, but the length of the M84 is 1175 mm. The barrel length also differs. The barrel length of the M80 is 605 mm, but the barrel length of the M84 is 658 mm. Also, the stock or the butt of the M80 is hollow, but the butt of the M84 is not hollow, but rather made from different types of wood. Then lastly, the M85 is the 762 by 53 and 54 mm cartridges, but the M84 fires only the 762 by 54 mm cartridges only. The rest of their technical data are pasted on the board in front of me. You can go on to I'm done. The gun here is the 7.62 general purpose machine gun. It was manufactured in Belgium by Fabrique National. It is fully automatic gun, air cool, gas operated, bed fed, assisted by retain spring and roll. Its caliber is 7.62 by 5.1 mm, weight 11 kg. It fires a series of ammunition. Display here is the tracer and the ball. Its simplicity makes both stripping and assemble, quick, easy operation for soldier in action, and speed up instruction of recruit. It can be mounted on a variety of soft mount, as seen on the Cobra 1 vehicle, which will be brief on later on, and on the bipod. The gun here is the 20 mm Olicon gun turret type Gadao. It was manufactured in Zurich, Switzerland. It is automatic gun, air cool, gas operated, bed fed, assisted by recoil and spring. Its caliber is 20 mm, weight 88 kg. It fires a series of ammunitions. Display here is the high explosive incendiary cartridge and armor piercing cartridge. It is used to fire at low altitude enemy aircraft, paratroops, and other targets. It is mounted on the Moak Piranha 6x6, which will be brief on later on. Lastly, these armaments are used to perform several duties like patrols, escorts of logistics, protection of key installations in both internal security and UN peace support operations. Other technical data are displayed on the display card. I'm done. I'll hand over to. Good morning, sir. You are welcome to the Browning machine gun stand. Sir, this is the Browning M2 heavy barrel flexible machine gun. It was designed in the year 1918 and manufactured in the year 1921 by a man called John Moses Browning in the United States of America. The weapon was produced towards the ending of World War I to combat a heavily armored aircraft created by the Germans called the Junkers GI. Due to its effectiveness, it has been used in World War II, Vietnam War, Afghanistan Wars, among others. The weapon is air-cooled, gas-operated and belt-fed. It's unlike other machine guns, this weapon is capable of producing automatic fire and single shots. Due to its ability to produce single shots, when fitted with an optic sight, it can be used as a sniper gun. The weapon is effective against ground features such as infantry, unarmored or lightly armored vehicles and boots. It can also be used against aerial targets such as low-flying aircraft. It is very heavy in construction, which makes it inconvenient to carry around uh, freely. However, when mounted on an armored fighting vehicle, it can be made mobile. Sir, the gun has three main components, which is the receiver, the barrel, and the tripod. The weight of the overall setup is 58.1 kg, which is heavier than a bag of cement. The speed at which the bullet travels when the gun is being fired is 929 meters per second, which is also termed as muzzle velocity. The maximum range of this gun is 6,767 meters, and its effective range is 1,829 meters. The gun comes in a metallic box which houses 100 rounds. The rest of the technical data are pasted on the board. Yes, sir. Yeah, Mounted on the Moa Piranha 8x8 is the Draga turret and the 25mm Giat M811. It is designed in France. The main armament of this vehicle and the Cohazia, the 7.62 general purpose machine gun. 
The gun is electrically externally powered, air cooled, gas operated, bell fed, and assisted by a solenoid. It can be operated digitally, which enables the gunner to select the type of ammo, the number of rounds, and the type of fire. Its caliber is 25 by 137 millimeter and fire series of ammunition of which some are the armor piercing incendiary with or without tracer and the armor piercing explosive incendiary with or without tracer. It has super muzzle velocity and fires 50% more than any 20 millimeter cannon. It has high rates of fire and due to the dragger turret provides sufficient armor protection for the gunner. I'll pause here and hand over to my colleague to brief you on the vehicles. I will take you to the surveillance vehicle, the surveillance systems of the Armour Corps. Mounted on the surveillance system, on the tactical Cobra vehicle, are the surveillance system. It's comprised of an electro optic system, a gunshot detection system, and a ground surveillance radar. The electro optic system houses the, the camera unit, which houses the day camera, the laser rangefinder, and the thermal camera. It has a maximum view range of 10 kilometers. Below it is a pan-tool device, which enables the camera to traverse through an angle of 360 degrees. Elevated to an angle of plus 80 degrees and depressed to an angle of minus 50 degrees. The entire system is mounted on a telescopic mast, which can be extracted to a height of 3 meters to view beyond obstacles. Next to the electro optic system is a gunshot detection system, which is designed to convey and detect the location of weapon fire using acoustics, sensors, or a combination of both. It can detect at a distance of 2.5 kilometers when round fire passes through a 100 meter radius of this vehicle. It can detect small caliber weapons ranging from 5.5 to 20 mm, supersonic ammunition, rocket fire from RPGs and 30 mm cannons. It works in coordination with the electro optic system, which serves as its eye when the, ra when the detector detects any target within its range. We also have the ground surveillance radar, which uses radio waves to detect both moving and stationary targets. It can detect human movement at 12 km and has a maximum range of 40 km. It is made to military standard and can distinguish between enemy and friendly zones. It can be operated in two scenarios, the on-vehicle scenario as seen mounted and the off-vehicle scenario when it is dismounted, mounted on this tripod with the aid of a power cable, an tiny cable and this laptop. With this drone, we can view beyond the limitations of the electro-optic system, which has a flying altitude of 500 meters and a maximum range of 5.6 kilometers. I'm Dancer. The LMG, also known as the light machine gun, was designed to be operated by a single infantryman. It was produced in the year 1983. This gun is a Chinese-made session support weapon. It is used against area targets and fixed lines, which ranges up to 800 meters. The gun can also be employed up to 500 meters against low-altitude aircraft. The gun is carried and fired by one man, who is the number one, assisted by the number two, who carries a spare drum and direct fire onto the target. This gun has a sling and a handgun, which makes it easy to carry. It also has a bipod, which can be folded under the gun barrel. The gun has a safety lever, which manipulates to save and best fire. The muzzle velocity of the gun is 735 meters per second. The maximum effective range is 800 meters and the maximum range is 3,500 meters. Sir, the rest of the technical data is pasted before you. I'm done, sir. Thank you. This is the M80 and the M84, caliber 7.62 by 54 millimeter battery. Sir, these weapons are air cooled, gas operated, belt fed, and fully automatic shoulder fired weapon. They are mainly used in light role and heavy role and can be used as an anti aircraft fire rule. That is, when mounted on a tripod, it's used in heavy role, and when mounted on a tripod, it's used in light role and can be used to fire low flying aircraft. They can be used in different terrains and can be moved from one position to another. Sir, these weapons are simple in construction and convenient to handle. They are also light in weight and easy to carry. They are dust proof because of their dust spot covers and their mechanism functions reliably. Sir, they have an adjustable iron sight which ranges from 100 meters to 1,500 meters. Sir, in spite of their similarities in construction, there are differences between the M80 and the M84 general purpose machine gun, one being its origin and the manufacturer. The M80 
was designed in 1980 and manufactured in 1983 by Norinco Group in China, whilst the M84 was manufactured by Zastava Arms in Yugoslavia in the year 1984, present-day Serbia. Also, the weight of the M80 is 8 kg, but the weight of the M84 is 8.8 kg. Again, the length of the M80 is 1192mm, but the length of the M84 is 1175mm. Sir, as you can see, the butt of the M80 is hollow, but the butt of the M84 is not hollow, but rather made from different types of food. The M85 is the 7.62 by 53 and 54 mm cartridge, but the M84 fires only the 7.62 by 54 mm cartridges. I'm done, sir. Okay. Thank you. Sir, this is the Browning M2 heavy barrel flexible machine gun. It was designed in the year 1918 and manufactured in the year 1921 by a man called John Mrs. Browning in the United States of America. So the weapon was produced towards the ending of World War I, especially to combat a heavily armored aircraft produced by the Germans called the Junkers GI. The weapon is very effective and due to that it has been used in World War II, Vietnam War, Korean War, among others. The weapon is air-cooled and gas operated. It is also belt-fed. Unlike other machine guns, it can produce automatic fire and single shot. Due to its ability to produce single shot, when fitted with an optic sight, it can be used as a sniper gun. The weapon has traversing and elevation mechanisms. This makes it flexible to manipulate the muzzle towards any given direction within the arc of fire. When I say the arc of fire, I mean the area within which the firing unit is responsible and engages its target effectively. So the weapon can be used against ground targets such as infantry, on armored or lightly armored vehicles and boats. It can also be used to combat low-flying aircraft. It is heavy in construction, which makes it inconvenient to carry around easily. However, when mounted on an armored fighting vehicle or an armored fighting boat, it can be made mobile. Sir, the gun has three main components, which are the receiver, the barrel, and the tripod. The weight of the overall setup is 58.1 kg, which is heavier than a bag of cement. The speed at which the bullet travels when the gun is being fired is 929 meters per second, which is also termed as muzzle velocity. The maximum range of the gun is 6,767 meters and its effective range is 1,829 meters. The gun comes with a metallic box which houses 100 rounds. The rest of the technical data are pasted on the board. So, is there an occasion during the, the firing that you have to change the, the the barrel. Yes, absolutely. Sir. It's a quick change barrel. So during firing, when the barrel gets hot, the fire can quickly move the barrel and fix it in the new one. Okay. Well done. Now the gun mounted here is the 81 millimeter motor. Spanish me. The gun, the second heavier supporting gun in the infantry battalion. And when not in use. It is kept dismantled into three main component parts and its accessories. Now that is, when the gun is deployed on the field, that is how it's been mounted. And when not is used, it is kept this way, sir. Now this is the base plate. The base plate serves as a stable platform for the gun and also absorbs all the shocks during firing. So we have the barrel. The barrel receives and fires all rounds. It also guides the bomb, the bomb before leaving the barrel. The third main component of the gun is the tripod. The tripod serves as a frontal support for the gun and also carries all the necessary gears to lay the mortar. So we have the mortar sight. The sight is the main eye of the gun. It is used to lay the mortar directly onto the aiming post and indirectly onto the target. So the gun uses three types of ammunition. We have the high explosive, we have the smoke and the loom rounds. So we have other accessories that helps in laying the mortar when first coming to action. And these are the base plate flag and the aiming post. So the base plate flag is used to indicate the base plate foot position when first coming into action. While the aiming post, it is used to check and obtain the rough direction of the target. And so on the, so that's how it's being planted. Sir. So the gun is muzzle loaded and is manned by three men. That we have the number one, who is the detachment commander. We have the number two and the number three. They also carry their personal weapons. Sir. The rest of the technical data. Uh, as on the board, sir. I'm done, sir. Okay. 
and I would like to start with the tight machine guns. And this is the Nagel LMG7 USB weapon. And the weapon here is the Nagel LMG SF made in Israel. That is used, it's using the disintegrated metallic balls of 50 rounds and it can also use the magazine. Now the light machine guns are used by the, the squad when they are in action to suppress the enemy and also to cover the area draw one. The next set of weapons are the rifles. Now this is the DDM4 rifle made in the US. This is the Marco Gali rifle made in Israel. And this is the MCC CTO made in China. We have the AK-47 rifle made in Russia. And the rifles serve as the personal weapon to the special force operators. And are used in close combat and also in short distance. What, what is the caliber of all the weapons? Now, come to you. Another set of weapons are the pistols. They serve as the secondary weapon to the SF and in transition. We have the CZ 75 Czech Republic and Taros Middle Brazil. Another set of weapons are the snipers' weapons used by the Special Force Operators. We have the Marco Galil snipers were permitted in Israel. We have the Jastava snipers were permitted in Serbia. The Luko snipers were permitted in China. And M110 snipers were permitted in Israel. So the snipers were permitted are high precision long range weapons, which are used at long distance in operations by the special force. And the weapon here uses the 7.6 to 551 mm. With the exception of LMG Nagel Israel DDM4. Marco Galil rifle, M16, that uses the 5.56 and the AK47, that uses the 7.6 to 539. Why the pistol use the 9 mm? The next set of weapons is the M2 new one heavy machine gun. The new version of the brand M2. And this weapon has a caliber of 12.7, effective range of 1,000 meters. And this weapon is used to utilize any position and enemy gun force. They can use to cover guards and protect the flanks of the special force operators whilst in action. Now, when mounted on a vehicle, it is effective by its cross country movement and it can use to protect gun troops and also protection of protocol. And the rest of the technical data are informed. I'm done, sir. Thank you very much. Sir, before me is the special equipment as we use in the brigade. I am W2 Afribia Otis. So may I introduce you to the communication equipment. Sir, before me is the direct PRC 2090 trans receiver. It is made from Israel. And when deployed, it can be deployed three movements. One, if mounted, this is the way it looks as a radio operator and it mounted, you can turn around. And as well too, it can be served as a base station, depending on the antenna that we use. If it's on the move, we use the PIP antenna. But if we stem it as the base radio, we use either the direct or the droopy type of antenna. And you, uh, when using the droopy, you can communicate in perpetuity, depending on if you mount repeaters. So it depends on the coverage that you use. Then I move to the direct PRC 2080. It's also a VHF radio, which is also part of the direct family. It is basically used for short ranges. When deployed on an open ground, it covers a distance of eight kilometers. And when deployed in, the, uh, in, in, an, in a closed area, it covers a distance of six to seven kilometers, depending on the terrain. The next item I have is the Diamondback Sporty Telescopic Site, which is used by the spotter. And the spotter is part of the sniper's team. He uses the, it aids him to watch, find and direct targets to the number two to fire. And equally, they can swap over. Then I move to the day vinyl. The day vinyl aids you to see, I mean, uh, images that are far closer and larger. 
for you to be able to assess. Then I move to the ninth vision goggles. It aids you to see through the ninth because it has a device called the topo electronic device that allows you to see images approaching darkness. And the, the light that it uses is the infrared and that of the moonlight type, depending on the type of uh, device we are using. Then I move to my surveillance. As a special force unit, we deploy this on the move or when we are attacking for us to give us visuals to the ops room for our commander to assess and then see what is going on. And basically it's, it's deployed for surveillance and that of to take pictorial and then video real. And of course, to give direction to us and to give live feed from the operation. The next thing I move to the USB inspection camera. And its length covers from three to six centimeters. And then it's a camera and you can use it both day and night. And it is used to assess an enclosed area before you, you, uh, you, you break through. Let's assume that it's an enclosed and then there's a captive. You use this to assess the enclosed before you can uh, break through to know what the content of the enclosement there is, uh, the, the, the content of the enclosement before you, you attempt to break. And it's used by the CQB team. And it comes with either a laptop, a palm top, or you can even use your phone or any LCD or LED device just to give you pictorials to be able to see what is happening. Support here for questions and clarification. Uh,